That number to six. Six goldfish across the entire country. Stop domestic goldfish abuse. Call, Call now. now. All these calls, man, it's out of control. Can't handle it. We had spanks, but now that he's gone, it's just not the same. He used to hold us together when we had all these tough times and busy like this. Yeah, man, if we don't figure something out, I don't know if we can continue like this. It's just not the same with us, Spanks. We gotta come up with some sort of plan. For sure. There's been rumor that Spanks, he wasn't really dead. We heard a theory that he was wearing a bulletproof vest. It's impossible, though. We were there. He was dead. He was definitely dead. I felt his pulse. Yeah, we felt his pulse. It's been rumored that Spanks is hiding somewhere in this area. When he was buried, he was buried over there in that shack. We've been following up any leads we can get. So right now we're about to search his house, see if we can get any sort of clue on where he is. We're gonna do anything we can. We're hoping he's not really dead. Cause we need him right now more than ever. More than ever. Oh. I see they keep their trusty steed. Going in the house. Searched around in these folks' house down here. We made it into their basement. I think we're on something. We're just gonna look around, see what we can find. Oh, it looks like there's a room, some sort of closet or a door. Be careful, don't watch out for ghosts. Maybe ghosts. What? You see something? What is it? Oh my god! Oh my god! god. Space. Where am I? Space. What are you doing? Ah. Where am I? You're in a basement, man. Am I? Is yeah. it you? Yeah, it's us. We've been looking for you everywhere. Oh. oh. Get out of here. we got to help you out. Oh, come on. Jeez. Come on. Oh. Okay. Alright. Oh, baby. You good? Oh. 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 Classic, oh. man. That's classic. Hey, how, how did you stay alive up there? I've been eating rat meat and asbestos. Oh my god. Whoa, man. So you weren't dead? Insane. We thought you were dead. Well, the whole time. they thought I was dead. 30 yards that way, I was buried. I just found this hole. So you woke up or something, crawled through the ground? Basically. Holy cow. Like, gypsies. We got, a, we got a serious problem here. What's going on? We got a. A mole rat, yeah, a mole rat. A tropical mole rat. Specs on the case, baby. This is the customer's house. This is where we've been getting complaints about the tropical mole rat. Spanks and I are gonna go interview the customer, and he's gonna go check out the perimeter, see what's going on. I saw a place over there where I think I can find some real clues and where we can get a lead on where this thing is going. This is the customer's house. What's up, dude? Get out of here. Get out of here. There you go, buddy. So, uh, what's the problem? There's been lots of reports of a tropical mole rat around here. A tropical mole rat? We oh. heard that already. We didn't need to know that. But thanks anyways. Sounds like tasty eating. Mm. Yeah. Looks like we're going to have to catch this mole rat. Now you just don't worry, Garrett. All right, we're going to find it. In my... Uh, Interviewing the customer up there. I had my eye on this little spot back here. Looks like a great spot where I can get some clues. Now you see all these, these uh, weeds and plants and everything are real long. That means that there hasn't been anybody back here in a long time. 
which means it's a prime spot for a tropical mole rat. That and this moist weather back here. As you can see, all the wood is damp. It makes it easy for you to get claws in there. All right. Now, if I had to take a guess, I'd say it's been living somewhere right about here. This might actually be its hole. It likes to get in there to hide from things like pelicans. Because, you know, you get pelicans in here under the trees, they have no option when they're stuck. So they come under here and they search for these. And, uh, this wood. See how it's been chopped down? Yeah. Well, that's definitely a doom by the mole rat's teeth. I kept my eye on that all day and I think we're gonna catch this, no problem. So what the heck are you at? that? You seen what I'm seeing? Oh my goodness. It made a move! It's a native blue chair! <laughs> You know, there's a lot of emotions. It was just a great day. You know, I think that we really got to people's souls. Not just their hearts or their brains. We touched down to their souls. We it's got up in their soul. Thanks. Thanks. How are you? How's it going, bud? Well, fellas, I got some bad news. What's that? I'm being deported back to Canada. Apparently, the luge team needs me. Well, oh, that's if they need you. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Yeah. That's not good. Whoa. One for the road. One more for the road. One more. He may contain the urge to run away, but hold her down with soggy clothes and breeze blows. Shedders in your fever, scream me again. Never kisses, or do you ever send our full stop? Do you know where the world is going? Now let's save my love, my love, love, love. 